scholarship provided opportunities that I probably wouldn't have had at some of the other universities I was considering. I was able to do research. I was able to get in touch with faculty members who were extremely helpful. The process of applying for postgraduate awards was almost something that I wasn't planning for, and it was actually suggested by a number of people around the AB program who were extremely helpful. When Nick and Jared and I were interviewing for Rhodes and Marshall Scholarship, Alex Rosenberg, who's the director of the AB Scholarship, spent hours drilling us on interview questions to make sure that we really knew how to represent what we wanted to do. My name is Nick Altimos. I am an AB Duke alum and currently am a Marshall Scholar studying at Oxford. I'm Catherine Buse. I'm an AB Duke alum. I went on to get a Marshall Scholarship and study at the University of Liverpool and now I'm at Cambridge. My name is Jared Dunman. I was an AB Duke from 2007 to 2011 and I'm currently a Rhodes Scholar at Oxford. I received the Marshall Scholarship, which funds two years of study at any university in the UK. I've used my funding to come to Oxford and do a PhD in genetics. Now I study this gene that is the most rapidly evolving gene in the human genome. It affects fertility, and we're trying to figure out exactly how this gene works. So I do both experimental work in the lab, and then I do the computational analysis afterwards. As I'm cycling to the lab, I pass 14th century buildings and proceed to do 21st century work. It's humbling in that sense that you know, you're walking in the footsteps of some of the great scholars. I am a Marshall Scholar. The first place I went was the University of Liverpool where I got a Master's in Science Fiction Studies and I'm now at Cambridge doing a degree program the MPhil in Criticism and Culture. The work that I do is on contemporary literature about global warming in science fiction. What's always driven me to do the work that I do is wanting to understand how the way that we talk about things affects what we think is possible in the world. In terms of the next step for me, it's definitely to get a PhD. I'm really interested in how we talk about the environment and ideas like nature and ideas like human being. All of these really big concepts that have so many things inside of them. I received a Rhodes Scholarship. The Rhodes Scholarship is for two years at Oxford and last year I studied applied mathematics and mostly focused on modeling energy systems and this year I'm doing an MBA uh, studying business really working with translational research understanding how to get technology into markets and get emerging technologies access to the capital they need to grow and expand. As part of my MBA I'll be working on a summer project in Tanzania where I'm working with a company called Off Grid Electric. What they do is they take renewable energy sources like solar panels, wind turbines, even renewably sourced biomass, and hook them up to very basic electrical appliances like lighting, radio, even TVs, and really try to supply those services that are really fundamental to economic growth, quality of life, in areas that are not electrified right now. I really think it can make a difference. That's something that Duke very much contributed to. I would say the AB gave me the best preparation possible for doing graduate work. The AB is almost a way of making sure that you get the most out of your undergraduate experience. The opportunities are there, Duke is a wonderful institution, but the AB makes sure that someone is making sure that you get what you want to get out of it. It made me think about what are your responsibilities as someone who's had opportunities to contribute to public discourse social progress and to use the work that you're doing to directly inform solutions to the things that our world's facing, fighting the world's fight, quote unquote. And that's something that the preparation that the AB Duke really focuses on with preparing people to be public intellectuals, not just academics, is something that's hugely important.